So Abdullah Samir received a community guideline strike on his YouTube channel. This is not, this is his, like uh, a smaller channel that he has on the side uh, called Abdullah Samir Clips. This is not his main YouTube channel. So he posted this here telling us what happened. So should we just, it's a very short video and we just wanted to really quickly make a video on this to see what happened. And uh, Susanna, you read the blog post that he wrote on it as well, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just quickly watch the video and then comment on it, okay? This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim. You might be wondering, why am I uploading on this channel and not my main one? I woke up today to a message from YouTube saying, you can't upload for two weeks. Your monetization has been disabled and your channel memberships have been suspended. I was like, what? Why? When I looked to see, I found that I had received a channel strike. A strike for uploading content that glorifies violence no upload privileges and my 51 members who are supporting me on youtube had their memberships paused this is crazy i did no such thing i didn't glorify violence the content they're complaining about was a test video i uploaded that was unlisted and had no views of a tribute to the pakistani charlie hebdo knife attacker i was using the video as part of a social commentary and had uploaded it to see if youtube was going to flag it for copyright that's the only reason nobody even ever saw it Funny thing is, I didn't get flagged for copyright, but I got flagged for glorifying jihadi violence. Yet the video I mirrored is still up. It was mm -hmm. never taken down. And to make matters worse, because I deleted the video in a matter of minutes, I can't appeal my claim. Shouldn't there be at least some sort of threshold for views before a channel gets penalized for bad content? Surely there should be a mechanism that if you delete a video, you should still be able to appeal the decision. Now my channel is stuck. So please subscribe to this new channel. I've had it for a while now to upload shorter clips, but it's now time for the sleeping channel to wake up. Please subscribe to this channel. I'll be using it until further notice and things are fixed back home. If you're one of those members whose membership got suspended by YouTube, please consider joining me on Patreon instead. I'm sure that this glitch will be taken care of soon, but if not, my next video will be uploaded here. So please subscribe and share this with all your friends. Thank you, Introverted Smiles, for this suggestion. It was a great idea to start using this channel. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim, Abdullah Samir, signing out. All right, so what do you think? Are we subscribed to that channel? I, I Yeah, look. Awesome. Look, uh, proof. Here's proof. I subscribe. And I hit the like button. And turn on and the notifications. Turn on the notification as well. All right? Awesome. So, uh, guys, I'm going to link to this channel, this smaller channel, in the description. Guys, go show support. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to link in the description. I'm going to also link to his, oh, where's his Patreon account? It's not on a bad page. Hold on. Um, must be a link to this. It must be. I also link to his Patreon account. Guys, again, Abdullah Samir relies on the, you know, the financial, like, he's been demonetized. His channel has been demonetized. So maybe, like, for him to be able to um, go through the times like this, because, again, imagine how risky this kind of activism is if, you're, you, if your livelihood could be just put on pause for, for a month or two. Well... Uh, you know, but let me just finish this, please. So I don't know why he didn't link to his Patreon account. He, oh, it's, it's the link to his website. So, But I will link directly to his Patreon account. So make it easier for activists like this to be able to not have to constantly stress about where their next uh, paycheck is coming from. Where is his Patreon? Oh, there we go, finally. I will link to his Patreon account directly, unlike Abdullah himself, right, in the description. Um, so show him some support. Oh, by the way, Patreon is down right now. God damn it, Patreon is down right now. So if you like, if you click on it, and if it's not working, uh, just come back in a few hours. But please, please, please show show him some support so that he doesn't have to worry about these things. But go on, sorry, Susanna, you wanted to say something. Well, I wanted to say because I know Abdullah would say this if he was here. This is not his livelihood. He has a full time job, but this will still cripple content creators like him. He invests a lot into the content. It is his livelihood. He it's has... not all his. Okay, okay, no, no, no. It is his livelihood. It's not all his livelihood. Okay. But he does rely on the income. So mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, because he has a team of editors and research assistants who contribute to his work on his channel. Um, no, but also and... he. he... But also he has a lot of expenses that mm -hmm. his that this helps to on top of the job that he already has, right? So he does he does rely on this income. His income his expenses, like I'm not gonna get into detail, but he does need this. But go ahead. 
Yeah. Um, this is ridiculous. Um, you can go read the blog post where he spoke in more detail about what's going on here. But obviously, obviously, there is a key distinction between highlighting someone else inciting or glorifying violence and then highlighting and glorifying violence yourself. No, it's absolutely yeah, okay. ridiculous considering that the original clip that he took for this is still up. Hmm. It's it, that is still up. So why did this get flagged? Um, I don't know if people understand how much not being able to upload for two weeks can cripple someone's um their account their their content their reach everything they do not being able to upload for two weeks is crippling and yeah. he um no no i'm excuse me. uploads have been disabled on his channel for two weeks he cannot upload for 30 days all monetization has been turned off channel memberships also put on hold and the strike itself stays until december 31st hmm so he can't do live streams. By the way, you know, even even if this is undone really fast, this is like the, the like we want we don't want to be the only activists out there, right? We want more mm -hmm. active more activists to join. But this needs to be a more stable pathway to living a life for more people to be able to for us to get not just old activists, but more people considering becoming activists and having their uh, fighting for what's right. But it, it, it cannot be this stressful. You cannot think like, okay, if I'm going to rely on this, is it going to be like my my income is going to be removed for one month and it's going to be another month? Like it needs to become a little bit more stable. And again, that's why I'm saying make it, we need to, you know, so when Susanna saying the consequences of this could be really bad for someone's reach, um, even if it's even if it's undone, the fact that that's on your mind all the time makes people reconsider this pathway, right? So we, that's why I'm saying go support these content creators so that they know they have something to fall back on if all of a sudden they lose one of their sources of income for a couple of what, right? Because this needs to be something that people know that they could do. And if the consequences, you know, if if they're taking, like, we're already dealing with mobs coming and trying to remove our content. Now we have to deal with, like, even unintentional, like, bots coming, like, just, especially about because of the nature of the stuff that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Even if the mob is not coming after our content, uh, we, we are at much risk of getting flagged just randomly by bots, by YouTube's, like, algorithm, more than people that are making, like, recipes and workout videos, right? Because of the nature of the stuff that we're talking about. So, like, the risk to, you know, um, losing our platforms or losing our reach or losing the income that we have um, is much higher than other content creators. And that's why there's some level of security that we need to provide to people like Abdullah Samir. So again, guys, mm -hmm. link to both his new YouTube channel, the smaller YouTube channel, and to his Patreon account. Both of those are in the description. Please consider checking out. But please, guys, do not support us financially or Abdullah, support, uh, Abdullah Samir financially if you're struggling financially, mm -hmm. okay? Only do that if you are in a I mean, you know, you're very, very comfortable with where you are financially right now. Okay, only then. If you're not uh, if you do not feel safe in uh, financially, if you're not secure, then just like and subscribe to their channel and share their video and raise awareness. There's, there does there's no cost associated with tweeting about it, subscribing it, liking it, hitting the notification bell. We don't. We wouldn't ask for these things like, oh my god, you know, you're, you guys keep saying We wouldn't ask for these things if the, if this didn't reach if this didn't boost our audience and it wouldn't make our the voices um, our voices louder, right? So go to Abdullah Samir's new, uh, new channel, do hit the subscribe button, do hit the like button, and do hit the bell notification, and consider sharing, okay? If you can't support financially, at least you could do that. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say? Um, no? We are always so grateful for how hard Abdullah rode for us during the controversy surrounding sexy Kali and Hindu Hindutva controversy. And yeah. um, he was by our side the whole way. There are few people, there are few people, few prominent activists who stood by us side by side as hard as Abdullah did. It did not go unnoticed and it was so appreciated by me. It was so appreciated by everyone, especially yeah. me and Armin. And so we're not, we have to stand up for each other, right? Yeah. 
We have to stand yeah. up for each other. And that's explicitly what we said in the midst of all of that. We said, we want our community to hold us accountable. When this happens, we need to stand by you. And we're doing that. And mm. um, so please go support Abdullah. He does good work, amazing activism. And um, exactly. Yeah, see mm -hmm. you. Check out All the right, link. let's keep this short, though, Susanna, because I want to make sure that we don't, because more people watch it if it's shorter. All right, so thank you, everybody. Again, guys, please go check out the Samir, and um, we're going to have, uh, there's something else happening just right now that we just discovered. Um, oh, yeah. But, we're, yeah, we're going to make another video about that. Things are going crazy, man. It's like, uh, all right.